Hey guys, Jeff with Westcott Design. So we're doing a little experiment here for you. We've got our new two inch kit in the front of this truck. We've got an Icon 52700 rear spring in this. That's the two inch spring for this. We've got a starting point here. We've taken it from the ground here to the bottom edge of the wheel well. This truck does have a set of 285, 75, 17s on it. So a little bit taller tire, but our starting point is gonna be at 38 and a half here in the, in the rear and in the front here, we're at 37 inches here, and that's taken from the ground as well. We always say take your measurements from the center of the axle uh, when you're going to do a lift on the truck, because then when you change the tires, the equation comes out differently or it comes out correctly. Uh, we've already put the tires on this, so we're gonna have a good accurate uh, measurement on what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go over here to the scale. We're gonna weigh each one of these parts, and then we're gonna start assembling this in the back of the vehicle so you can see how much it pulls the back of the vehicle down as we install this. So this is the first part of the equation here when assembling the hitch mount rack. It's got our locking mechanism we talk about. This comes in at 13 pounds. And this is a 15, 16 socket that will tighten this into place. Line up my pinholes here. Nice and snug. So we've got this set up as a driver's side spare. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the arm into its lock here. Slides over here, just like that. And take these screws. These are going to be a 11 16 and a 5 8 Slide these screws through here. This comes in at 21 pounds. I think I mentioned that already, but just wanna reiterate that. You can assemble this whole thing on the ground. I find it easier to assemble it on the vehicle as you're setting it up, especially if you're doing this all by yourself. And then up here in the top, we've got a locking Allen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this down. And when I get it tightened down, I'm gonna wiggle this arm until I get all the movement out of it. And just from adding these two pieces here, let's see if we've got a difference in height here on the vehicle. Yeah, we're still right there. We're just starting to drop down, but as we continue to add weight, we'll see this fluctuate here. So I've finished, I've finalized tightening this. It's all tight, snug. And then I'm gonna go back in here to the top and I'm just going to snug this up. And as you can see, we've gotten all the movement out of this arm. I'm shaking it now, it's literally moving the car. So that's nice and tight. We know that's where it needs to be. We're gonna install the other arm here. So I've got the tire arm. The tire arm that we have configured is on the driver's side, like we mentioned. This tire arm, just the way you see it with the arm on it, this thing comes in at 48 pounds. This also has our camera relocation bracket on it here as well, which slides onto the factory hub. So slide this in here, like so. Take my bolt, drop my bolt. I'm lifting up on the rack. I'm pushing pressure on it as I shake it and just down into place there. I swing this out. The nut and the bolt are both a 15 16 So I'm just making sure these are good and tight. I've got a breaker bar type wrench here and just a 15 16 open end wrench or a box wrench. And I'm just putting a final tighten on that. So that's good. I come out here, I check it. Yep, no movement, the car's moving actually with it. So we've got that. It's all nice and smooth on how it closes. We can lock that into place there. Latch it just like that. So we're gonna install this. So as you can see it, it's pretty much the way that most people are gonna configure it. They're probably not gonna use the other arm. So we're gonna install this on there. This is an SES BR6 and it is in a 17 by eight and a half with a, a plus, or excuse me, a negative 12 offset running a Toyo Open Country RT trail and a 285, 75, 17. So we're gonna install this now. Comes in at 88 pounds. So we'll get these tightened up here. We'll come around to the side of the vehicle here. We'll take a look and see where our measurements coming in. We've definitely, I've dropped a little bit here in the back. We started out at 37 and a half and we are now just under 38 here. Basically right here is where we're at, is this mark right here off the side. So you can see we're already starting to drop a little bit, just a little bit over a half inch. We're gonna install the passenger side arm now. You can see here it slides over just so we talked about, locks into place. This one comes in at 21 pounds. 
right there. Locks in, can let go of it. Got our bolts here again. The 5 8 wrench and 11 16 to install these. Slide these through here. Gonna go come back into the top here like we talked about. This is the set screw. This is gonna take any kind of play out of this. So like I said, I shake it and I'm tightening this at the same time. So now we've got no play here. So this is our passenger side arm. We've installed our jerry can mounts on this. This arm comes in a total of 50 pounds with the jerry can holders on them. We make these jerry can holders here in house. This arm is a duplicate arm to the driver's side arm. So you can swap the tire, the gas cans, whatever you wanna do, you can configure it however you would like. So we're gonna install this 50 pound arm right now on the vehicle. You can see there I've let go of it. I've slid it into place. Grab the bolt here. Just like that. Put one more good tight. Uh, you can see there, it's good. Close this up here. Grab the latch here. You can push on your hand. I like to use my foot. Just push the lever like that. Good and solid here. So we're gonna install the gas cans. You can see we've painted them to match. Most of the time they come in red and black. So we've got them installed there. And coming at 17 pounds total between the two of them. So we'll take a look at the numbers now, see where we're at on the side. Cause obviously this would guy could probably be the configuration if someone did the full rack on this, not needing the, hit, the hitch extension for the bike rack. But we'll walk over here and take a look. See our numbers come in. So now we're almost at 37 and a half here. So 37 and a half. And when we talked before, we were at 37 in the front. So now we're getting within a half inch here. Uh, and the bike rack comes in at uh, 52 pounds, I believe. 50 pounds. We're, well, we're going to weigh it and let's just see what it comes in. But by the feel of it, it's somewhere around that 50 pound mark. So we'll check this out. So this is our hitch extension we've made. You can see here, really nice, our welds. There again, it's got our locking mechanism in it. When you got your bike hanging off the back and you don't want any movement, you can see how that works out. This comes in at 13 pounds, slides right in here into the arm. You can slide it in the arm here. You can slide it into the receiver down here. Uh, we designed this so you can still tow with it. So however you want to use it. We've got the extension here, right there again. It's a 15, 16 socket. We try to keep everything so it all configures together. I'm just trying to get it as tight as possible. There we go. Solid. Okay, so we weighed the bike rack. I said 50, I said 52. It comes in at 51 pounds. This is a one-up USA bike rack made here in the US. Really nice quality. We really like their stuff. We've used it now for years. So slide this into here. Their locking mechanism uses a little ball bearing here slid into place. They've got a special keyed Allen wrench here for safety. I'm shaking the bike rack as I continue to tighten this to make sure they get all the tension out of it. And I've got it taut there. And there we have it. Everything's assembled here. Everything's on the back. All the weight here as a whole is on the back of the vehicle. Let's walk over to the side here, see where we're now at with the bike rack on it. And obviously if the bike rack's flipped out, you're now taking the weight farther away from the rear axle, which should continue to bring the back of the car down. So you can see now we're just under 37 and a half. So we've got a total of 321 pounds as configured here. We're going to put down below in the description, uh, broken down per item on how the weight comes out. If you add a bike, obviously it's gonna pull the back down. If you add fuel, it's gonna pull the back down. One of the things that we did in this vehicle on top of what we've talked about is we did a set of Firestone airbags on this. They're helper airbags. They go inside the coil springs. So then we can really get the car tailored to how we want it to sit. We can add air, we can subtract air and really get the car to ride the way we want it to as well. So this here, 321 airbags in this vehicle, Firestone airbags. Again, it's got the Icon two inch springs in the rear. It's got our new Westcott two inch lift in the front of this vehicle. The part number on this is 52700 on these air, on the rear springs on this. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Everything will be listed here below in the uh, description. Again, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch our stuff and believe in our company. Thank you again.